This is a runs towards the Pacific. RTV. An onslaught of illegals is essentially stampeding in from Mexico. Well, the Texas governor has had enough, and despite threats from the Biden administration to keep open the immigrant floodgate, he issued Washington a warning on behalf of the long. This is beamed to 700 million people in the English-speaking world from Russia. Lone Star State. Whatever we've been building, the Biden administration uh, is now trying to attack us because of it. Uh, and we will continue to do exactly what we're doing to expand our denial of illegal entry into the state of Texas. Texas is de facto. The three second delay is uh, streaming uh, from Russia. Now when they stand off with the federal government in court over the state's border policy, and it's not alone, 25 Republican governors have issued a statement of support citing the record high number of migrant crossings. Let's listen to what Oklahoma's representative said when asked if he was on board. The former president, uh, Donald Trump, has suggested to all... Notice the uh, Idaho Governor Little is uh, part of this bunch. All the Republican governors out there, uh, send members of your state's National Guard. In your case, Governor, it would be the Oklahoma National Guard. Send them down to Texas to help Greg Abbott. Are you going to do that? Absolutely. You know, I've done it once before, and we're looking. I already talked to my tag, my General Mancino. We've already started putting the numbers together. Uh, we'll oh, yeah, this is making Putin very happy. And here again, this Being is Russian in contact with Governor Abbott. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is standing strong with his Texan counterpart and says that the issue is critical for the nation as a whole. I think that what's happening in Texas is not just a Texas issue. It's an American issue. And you have a situation. Yep. Political grandstand. <laughs> You have a situation, we've had over 8 million people pour into this country illegally uh, just in the last three years. And if Texas, uh, they have requested, we've obviously, we've got FHP, Fish and Wildlife, we've had Guard, we may do more now. Yep. This is broadcast to 700 million people. National Guard, but we also would be willing uh, to do the Florida State Guard. And the reason why you would want to do the State Guard is because the, fed the president would not be able to federalize the State Guard. <laughs> now, we spoke with the executive director of the Ron Paul Institute for Peace and Prosperity, Donald McAdams, and he laid out how the two main contenders stand. Ron Paul. I get mails from him wanting money. Here in Ahead of the presidential election. He's certainly demonstrating strength where the Biden administration has demonstrated weakness. It is playing into Trump's hands as well as he tries to contrast himself. And then you look at his rallies where thousands of people attend and he's very vibrant, as opposed to President Biden, where it's difficult for him to get a sentence out without stepping on his feet. <laughs> you have a lot of frustration in the United States. You have economic problems. You have a, uh, an agreement. Yeah, from Houston, huh? RT President Taylor. Biden foreign policy uh, that is costing Americans billions of dollars and uh, its reputation overseas. So I think a lot of Americans are seeing the failure of the Biden administration of foreign policy, domestic policy, economic policy, and that is causing uh, a lot of anger to boil on the surface. Uh, the Texas governor has accused the Biden administration of failing to protect the nation. In There's thousands of Russian agents in the United States. And they all speak. And Washington called the state's actions illegal and demanded it tear down its own fortifications. But that so-called deadline has passed. So the White House spokesperson took to her podium and have a listen to what she had to say. We will not uh, shy away from calling out what we see as political games from the governor. Uh, because... Yep, this lady is right. Because it is not safe. It does not protect our communities. It's not, it doesn't help Border Patrol to do their jobs. So we will continue to call that out. That's not going to hold us back. President Biden says he wants Congress to pass a spending bill for border security. Spending, and he is gotta mention spending. to get Republicans to bite in on it, on the deal. <laughs> <laughs> gotta mention spending. That's the uh, Republican uh, 
Battle cry. That's against, uh, they're against a little small detail of a $100 billion plus packet looped into it uh, that will be shipped off to Ukraine and Israel. Political analyst Sean Stone takes us through the crisis that he says has the potential to fracture America. This is the basis of, you know, what you can call a civil war, but it's essentially, you know, at this point, it is. Yeah, I want to tie up uh, the Ukraine uh, money. Maybe. Civil, right? It's not, uh, you know, if we're not going to descend into violence, we hope here. But the point is that there's a, there's a fundamental rift when you have half the country, uh, you know, opposed to the certain policies that they're half in favor of, or let's say, you know, more uh, relaxed about the policies. Um, you know, this this becomes a major hot topic. Biden has has talked about, or I guess it's it's being inferred that he can federalize uh, the national guard. Uh huh. Yeah, we don't want to we don't want to supply ammunition to Ukraine now, do we? Right, and basically try to use the national guard um, and take the national guard away from Texas in this case, right, from, from Abbott. Um, one thing that's already been done is they say this is retaliation. You know, I guess that's subjective, but Biden, the Biden administration has, has basically blocked currently or put a pause on liquid natural gas exports, which affects Texas. Um, so you can start seeing like economic reprisal. Um, the federalizing the National Guard would be another escalation. And have it yeah, wouldn't want to do that. Putin wouldn't like that, would he? To respond to. Um, but yeah, I mean, the last thing you want to see is something, you know, escalating into actual physical conflict. Now, the 